Ladies and gentlemen, this is the F and G show. The F and G show, and we are back again over a glass, glass of wine. wine. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about the allegations that was made against a man responsible for the film safety on the movie set of Rust. So let's just get to the video. Yeah. No one should die on a film set ever. The 42-year-old was killed this week on the set of the movie Rust after superstar Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun that moments before was declared safe. Amidst the despair and sadness, countless unanswered questions and the potential for serious legal consequences. NBC has learned days before the tragic shooting, the gun in question was involved in other accidental misfires. The LA Times reporting last Saturday, Baldwin's stunt double accidentally fired two rounds after being told the gun was cold. Now, I'm going to stop right here for a minute. Mm. If you were just to listen to this, it would sound like it was an actual gun. Yeah. That they were shooting. Not one with blanks, not a prop gun. Mm -hmm. A gun. Something that I could go rob a bank and shoot my mm -hmm. way out and get out of mm -hmm. there. Some John Dillinger stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what you would think by hearing about this, man. That's terrible. Meaning not loaded. The same thing yelled at moments before Baldwin shot and killed Hutchins, injuring the film's director. A crew member telling the LA Times there should have been an investigation into what happened. There were no safety meetings. There was no assurance that it wouldn't happen again. All they wanted to do was rush, rush, rush. Mm, Hours sure before did, Hutchins' tragic death, NBC has learned several crew members walked off set, concerned about the film's safety procedures. Rust's production company says it was not notified of any official complaints. I think a charge of negligent homicide is likely in this case, but not necessarily for the person who pulled the trigger. More likely for those in the chain of command. New allegations against Dave Halls, the assistant director responsible for safety on set and the man who handed Baldwin the loaded gun. Licensed pyrotechnician Margaret Gall claims Halls failed to maintain a safe environment mm. when she worked with him on a previous project. Okay, there Basically you go. Basically yelling at people that we need to get things done, ignoring people when they say that they need a minute to do something safely. Gall says she raised her concerns about Halls to the production, mm. but nothing happened. Mm. Same things that happened on our show happened here, but with much more devastating effects. And you can't help but think, did I do enough? NBC reached out to Blumhouse Productions regarding those allegations. A Blumhouse television spokesperson saying no complaints were received via the studio's anonymous system regarding safety concerns, adding the company does not comment on personnel matters. A source close to production tells NBC News a complaint had been lodged against Dave Halls and his lack of respect for personal space. The complaint was made on the second film he worked on for the studio in April 2019, and he was not rehired again by the studio. Halls declined to comment when reached by NBC News. Willie? A devastating tragedy above all else for that family. Aaron McLaughlin in Los Angeles. Aaron, thank you so much. Man. Well. Tragedy, man. Tragic. And it was, it didn't have, you know, it, you know, I, you know, stupidity, just, it, the, the stupidity here is just amazing. Uh, I mean, it's just totally amazing. They know this doggone director is a, a, a He's no good. Apparently, he's been violating all kinds of rules on other movie sets. Mm -hmm. And everybody keeps quiet. And you know why people keep quiet? Because they want that star on Hollywood Walk of Fame. They want that movie star. I mean, Mula. they want that money and they want that star. But you'll let the director and all these other cronies get away with all the safety violations. And you, you're willing to put your life on the line and die by an accident because you you want it, you want to get be in the movie. I mean, fame is not worth your life, but apparently in some cases, fame is people will give up their lives for a little bit of fame. And it doesn't have to happen. But this guy who handled the gun, and they know the gun was all the gun was faulty. It had already failed twice before. And they still didn't do anything. Oh, somebody should be going to jail. I think somebody is going to jail. They're going to prison. Man, a life was taken, man. That that's the worst thing. I mean, a cinematographer. My thing is, they said Alec Baldwin. I, I want to. I want to be recreated. I want to know how it happened. You know what I'm saying? As in, they say, "Hey, fire the gun and hit the cinematographer." 
was she showing them what she wanted and he aimed it at her or was he just it's shooting pa- it's and apparently you know she was hitting the chest so apparently and yes maybe that was but the case it also injured the other dude too though so that the means the cinematographer was probably with the camera and the director the director was standing behind her so the bullet went through uh if he fired one or two probably went through her and the other bullet ricocheted and went hit the other guy in the shoulder so was it two bullets well he got hit by he got hit by the bullet uh so mm. i don't know if he fired one okay. shot or two shots. So, yeah, but this is not unusual in, on movie sets because safety protocols are often ignored on movie sets. Especially um, during this time, man. You know, everybody well, wants yeah. to rush it now that they yeah. open it back up. Yeah, and Bruce Lee's son died the same way on a movie set with a prop gun. And uh, one, one gun expert said that a prop gun, you can't even fit a real bullet in a prop gun. So, the way they're made, if you try to put a real bullet in a prop gun, it won't go in the chamber. It won't fit. It won't do any of that. So, somebody brought a real gun on that set, and somebody messed up. And that director, whoever he was, and, and his uh, shady his shady behavior, oh, he, uh, he should go down for this. I agree way with down. You. I agree with you. Hmm. Way, way down. Well, you have anything else, Frank? No, it's it's a pretty much a shame. But y'all better speak yeah. up when movie sets aren't right. Yeah. You better speak up. Sorry for the family loss, man. Tragic. Unreal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna go ahead and get up out of here. This is the F and G show. The F and G show. Over a glass, glass of, of wine. wine, and we are out.